Happy spring. Happy springtime. It's springtime and 40 degrees. <laughs> oh, wow. It is so good to see everybody. Okay. Just going to get everything together. For you first timers, this is Simeon coming to you live from the Skycam and ready for another joyful journey. Wow. Here we go. Good to see everybody. Let's see who's in the house today. We have got um, Lou and Guy, Rodrigo and Kays, Mandy. It's always good to see you, Lou. And I see myself in the chat. So it's so good to see everybody. Wow. Amazing. So I'm going to fade this down. And I've got Stradivarius over here. And Chewy has got my back as always. Um, it is so good to see you. And Paulo Perez, good to see you. So thanks to Dick's Music Studio, as always, for providing some really magnificent uh, backing tracks. Uh, amen. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> All right. Mm. We've, got, we've got so much to do today. And I'm so excited about, um, I'm so excited about it. I just, I don't know how we're going to do it, but you know what? We are going to um, have some fun. But before we do anything, um, let's just welcome the season. Here we go. Welcome, sweet springtime, we greet thee in song. Murmurs of gladness fall on the ear. Voices long hushed, now their full notes prolong, echoing far and near. Sunshine now wakens the flow, the flowerets from sleep. Joy giving incense floats on the air. Snowdrop and primrose both timidly peep, hailing the glad new year. Now, this is my favorite part. <laughs> Balmy and bright, breeze and breezes are blowing Swiftly to nature, new vigor restoring Ah, oh, how my heart fills with rapture anew As earth's fairest beauties again meet my view And those who know, know <laughs> Sing, then ye birds, raise your voices on high. Flower, it's awake, and ye burst into bloom. For springtime has come, and sweet summer is nigh. Sing, then, O oh birds, O oh, sing. All right, <laughs> that's a little fun. And those who know, know that that, uh, that song was from a, one of my favorite um, Andy Griffith episodes. Balmy and bright breeze. It's where Barney, Barney Fife was, um, let me see if I can pull this up. Um, I had the lyrics up here. But it's where Barney Fife was singing in the choir. Let's see if we can... Um, <laughs> Teen A for our first selection. Yeah, this is it. Ready? Hazel? Yeah, so this is so cool. Welcome, sweet. Okay, let's see. Springtime, we greet the in song. Yeah, just one of the classic Andy Griffith episodes. And the cool thing is that, um, the funny thing is that Barney, Barney couldn't sing, of course, but he loved to sing. So they gave him this microphone and they said, this is a special, um, 
microphone, and it's like, um, <laughs> it's like he kept singing into it. They go, oh, no, 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 no. This is a very sensitive microphone, and it will amplify your voice. And so he kept singing lower and lower and lower. And then there was a guy that uh, was went behind the, um, went behind the platform, and he was a baritone. me and bright. So when Barney opened his mouth, this big voice came out. But that's always what I think about when I think about springtime. And, well, we've got things all over the place. You know, springtime is such an amazing time of the year. It's where we just celebrate things coming alive again. And, um, man, it's just a marvelous time. So welcome, sweet springtime. And so let's just get going. Okay, so one of the reasons why I wasn't here last week was because, um, you know, things happen to your house. And so underneath, you've got insulation and all the plumbing and everything. And and so last week, we found out we, we needed to get all that replaced. So we got all of the insulation under the joist all replaced. And, you know, it, actually the room, the house is, is really a lot quieter and... So just things like that, you gotta take care of stuff like that. And then also, uh, one of our viewers uh, contacted me about helping them with a new computer setup and wanted me to help them install their libraries. And let me show you, uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Jim Rosenberry from Perfect Audio, he, he builds custom computers for musicians. and customizes them and and optimizes them for audio use and this thing came in to, came in uh, for me to help uh, help install all of his libraries and it was like I couldn't believe it it was just I think he was uh, his system was based on a new i7 14 uh, 1400 and so it was just such an amazing system to uh, work on and and so the thing is, he was able to just take out all of the windows bloat and just get everything running for, um, just specifically for audio. So you know how a lot of times you try to build things yourself. I've tried to build it myself. I've built all my computers and Jim actually helped me to kind of tweak my window setup to get things running better. So, you know, if you're looking to get a new system, uh, it's it's worth it to uh, have somebody help you that knows what they're doing. So I'm excited to see what Chris does with his new um, new computer system. So let's see. Let's see what else we've got going on. Oh, we've got um, a lot of good sales going on. Let's see. Um, let's see what... Um, I think Spitfire just kicked off a sale. And let's see. Okay. Yeah, Spitfire's got a really interesting sale going on where there are 48-hour specials. And so they're running different things, uh, different periods of time. Uh, and so uh, make sure you check that out. Yeah, so uh, March 20, 21st through 23rd, they've got a set. And March 23rd through 25th. So each... Um, Every three days or so, they're they're featuring new um, new titles, different titles. And if you look at this, Piano Day is coming uh, the twenty eighth. So next Thursday is going to be Piano Day twenty twenty four, and Piano Day is the eighty eighth day of. <laughs> I said last night. I said uh, Piano Day is the eighty eighth month of the year, but it's the eighty eighth day of the year. And I've always wanted to also do a Busendorfer day too, I think, so <laughs> well, you never know. So uh, just look forward to that. And if you've got a favorite piano uh, or a piano that you were thinking about and you'd like to hear a little bit, you know, I'm gonna just try to feature nothing but pianos next week so we can uh, just have some fun exploring those together. So make sure you check that out. I think UVI is having a sale too. Uh, just all kinds of things are springing up. And of course, this is the Casio Privia uh, built-in Hamburg Steinway. But it's so good to see you, everybody. And let's see, I wanted to just uh, touch on, I, I like just to follow up on things and the string swells. Let me see if I've got this pulled up. The... Um, 
the string swells. There was a there was something that happened when I looked at those the last time, and and what I'm going to do, we're going to uh, do this. I'm going to um, just load this up. Uh, there was something that was happening when when we were making transitions and things. Um, and I wanted to just touch because I figured out what was going on, figured out what was going on with that. And so let's pull up uh, string swells. And it had something to do with the, um, I guess it was the, the envelope. Okay, let me turn this down here and And these are performed swells, and the thing that they added are the rebo turning of them on and off, and so you hear it. And this is on two bars, and we can go all the way to four bar uh, phrases. And you hear how it kind of rebos in the middle, but we can kind of click here and turn the rebo off. And this is what I discovered. If you look. Uh, on these tabs down down here in the lower uh, lower right section, uh, you'll see the effects, and then you'll see the envelope. And this is what um, this is what I have here. So the release is what was the key. So the release lets these just kind of hang out there, and so they don't re-trigger or cut off the notes that you were playing before. Trigger something, it doesn't just cut it right off. It just kind of lets it overlap. Just and see these these swells are natural swells, and we're going to see that again uh, when we take a look at Hearth and Hollow folk, uh, folk voices because. It, it, when, when I was watching the video of, of that release, it was just like, that was a similar technique that they were using with these natural swells. And I think that is just so beautiful. And I uh, let me take a look too, because they've released, um, <laughs> they've released a simpler version and you need the, um, yeah, it's called String Swells Core, and it has, um, it has just a very simple articulation, but it kind of gives you the same um, idea. It doesn't have the rebo control, um, and, um, and this one needs the um, full, full version of contact as well. So, uh, so it just has like, but it gives you an idea two bars, and I'm going to increase that release time. Yeah, I'm going to go longer to keep that, to get that rebo from kicking in too soon. hear those rebo and things. So uh, I just thought I'd give you that update. So if you're if you're wanting to avoid that sucking sound, especially uh, when you're not doing the rebos, just work on that. Uh, just check on the envelope on those releases, and that will give you um, give you a much better experience. It'll just let things kind of flow um, a little better. Okay, so dun da da dun. Yeah, we're doing good. And listen, there is something very beautiful coming uh, next week. So I would keep uh, keep my eyes uh, peeled toward uh, Fracture Sound's direction. And um, yeah, because uh, yeah, I've got I just got a little little secret little secret for you. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, so let's see. Yeah, there's all kinds of fun things going on. Um, okay, I'm gonna load up one of the other things we're gonna look at and let's see. And as always, if you guys have any questions, um, yeah, I do tease, yeah. And because, I, I mean, I can't wait to, t I, when I get something early, most of the time I don't get it early. I get it like the day of. And it's like, man, I wish I could get it a little bit early uh, just so I can kind of get a little prepared myself. Um, so let's see. I'm going to, uh, yeah. So let me see what's that. I've got me a list here. So it's like if I don't have a list of things, uh, my mind just can't, is, is just kind of going in so many different directions. And Stradivarius and Chewy know what happens when that uh, when that happens. Okay, good. Yes, yes, yes. See, see, um, a pastor I worked for a long time ago, he said, a piece of paper is smarter than I am. Uh, and that is so true. <laughs> So, okay, so we're going to, uh, I want to show you something uh, or introduce you to a company that is um, brand new, but not brand new. You're going to recognize some of the names, uh, but this is a new venture that uh, John Meyer, that you would know from uh, the Feathered Flute and the uh, different pianos that he's come out with and from Piano Book. Uh, this is a new venture that uh, uh, that along with Owen Bolig and Hunter Rogerson is um, this um, this new venture. I mean, uh, so Owen Bolig is behind some of your favorite sample libraries and just such an amazing individual. And uh, Hunter uh, is behind Hearth and Hollow uh, and has just uh, he's also a blender. Uh, he works with graphics and with uh, Blender especially, and he comes up with some beautiful interface designs. And so this is just something new. And their first um, their first instrument is the uh, is a prototype. So John, when he had his other site, he created these free prototypes. And so this is like kind of merging uh, John's sample libraries and new things together. And you know. Normally, they'll send me a copy of the library, but you know, I I wanted to kind of help support them, and so uh, this is like a pay what you want. It's you can pay nothing, uh, but I encourage you to uh, to just to, if you if you like if you like what they're doing, just to support um, just support them. Um, so, um, wow, Shred is it Shredna? Shredna, thank you so much. Um, wow. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, music allows us to uh, tap into things that are just so far beyond ourselves. Um, it's incredible. So I want to pull up their first uh, prototype, which is um, the rubber bridge. Uh, rubber. Okay, here we go. Rubber. <laughs> rubber bridge pluck guitar, and uh, and this is in a new engine called Hi's, H-I-S-E. So a lot of developers are, tr are moving away from contact because a lot of times people, uh, you know, musicians don't want to purchase the full version of contact. Um, but, and sometimes that's what uh, the developers have to do. Um, and so, uh, so Hi's is like a open source sample platform. Uh, and it's also tied in with the Juice platform and and so this is a free platform pretty much. So you don't have to purchase anything else. They are like self-contained instruments. And if we've got time, we're gonna look at another uh, company that has this has a similar approach. But uh, let's see, I've got it muted. So let's unmute this. And for me, when I first heard this, it was like, man, this almost sounds like a bass guitar. And the thing is, the, uh, the the what gives this the sound is that you have an eraser that is that is slid underneath the uh, the bridge. So, so 
So it's just like a really cool muted sound. And we go over here and we've got uh, more presets here. And let's just go through these real quick. It reminds me of that Hofner Beetle bass. some of these. Nice saturation. And now let's see, let's go. This is just... I can't wait to hear what they uh, continue to come out with. Neoprene, now this is some reverb. Saturation to just kind of I play it like a keyboard, you know, it's almost like a keyboard sound. It's it, it's hard to put your finger on exactly what you're Especially when the sound just kind of is so different, it doesn't. It doesn't. It sounds like a guitar, but it doesn't sound like a guitar. It sounds like a bass, but it's not a bass. It, it's kind of like one of those. Now this sounds more like a guitar. A lot of it has something to do with that that slap back reverb. Just really old school sounding. But uh, yeah, that's just a little taste of this. It's just got such a unique sound. And of course, it's just like testing the waters and concepts, prototypes, just kind of putting some things out there. Yeah, so check them out. Uh, check them out at Somerville Sounds and just show some love and support for what they're doing. Um, it's just a lot of fun and I can't wait to see what they're going to come out with next. It, hope, eventually they're going to bring some of their other things and it's not going to just, uh, yeah, you know, that's kind of like what it is. Uh, It's just got that really short attack and muted sound. Um, so they're not only going to be doing the highs instruments, but I think they're also going to be bringing out some um, more contact instruments and doing all kinds of things. So uh, just check them out um, and I'm sure they'll appreciate your support. Okay, let's see what we're going to next. Okay, we got to just check out with Orange Tree. Um, let's see. Yeah, Orange Tree, we haven't, uh, I haven't heard, done anything for them for a couple of years. And they reached out to me and I'm so grateful to the companies that um, support the channel by providing instruments. And Orange Tree said, you know, we wanna send you this new guitar. 
uh, that we have out. You don't have to even do anything with it, you know, but uh, we just wanted to see what you think about it. And and so this, this is like, uh, let's see, it's kind of like what they call an offset kind of guitar. And uh, it's just got, it's, sh it's a shorter guitar, uh, links in the, in the description. So just go ahead and jump in and read that. And they've got a great engine. So we're gonna pull that up. Let's see, we've got that. And <sighs> let's see, let me find where I put it. <laughs> let's see, let's find where I put it here. Okay, so let's just, um, what was I doing? I don't, I don't remember. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna load a, um, I'm gonna load a new instance of, um, I'm gonna load a new instance of Contact. And this is the new Cakewalk Pro, uh, Cakewalk um, Sonar. And this is like an early look at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, just put Contact in there. Yeah, you can see I've got so much in here. And Nigel, good to see you, man. And David Sedell, good to see you. Um, okay, let's see. Is it going? Okay, yeah, I forgot to hit create. Let's load it in here. And there it is. Okay, let's pull it in here. And orange tree. And there we go. It's the Indie Rock, Evolution Indie Rock. And it's got so much personality. And uh, if you look closely, you could see see some 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 things happening here. Okay, so it's got one NKI. And so let's just go through and just have some fun with this. Now this does absolutely sound like a guitar. Let me make sure I'm, yeah, I'm in the right place. And this is just the default. So let's just drop down uh, some of the snapshots here. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got the, the, the strums down here. And Rick Beato did a cool video about the uh, James Bond chord. Yeah, so I've got a, I don't know exactly. It's something kind of like that. And the scripting makes it so playable. I think that's what uh, sets apart a lot of sample libraries is when uh, they can get the scripting down. So when you're playing it, you're not you're not really thinking about it. You're just enjoying the experience. <laughs> Listen to that. Yeah, that's cool. And we've got um, <laughs> we've got all kinds of stuff going on. And you've got an entire effects rack uh, full of stuff that that you can just dive into. Um, and what I think is cool is this macro page where you can just assign velocity ranges to different plane styles. And this is uh, what shows up in a lot of these. I see. Just so thick. Um, <laughs> and I think we've got, um, oh, let's see. I thought I saw like a caribou there, but let's just keep going down through some of these. Yeah, listen when I do those transitions.
You know, Fred, I'm not sure if it has swells, but I think, um, I think you might be able to do that, get into that with some of the expression. Let's see what else they've got hidden down here. Yeah, so we've got, um, oh my goodness. I didn't even see a lot of these. Um, so you've got all of these different articulations that are mappable power chords, slides, hammer-ons, squeals. And I'm gonna have to look into that, Fred, uh, because that's something like, you know, like those volume swells where, you're, where you can kind of get those uh, really nice um, expressive things. Yeah, the hammer-ons are velocity sensitive. Um, let's see. Let's do some of this. Wow. Well, and they're just really, um, really leaning into just like these, this huge pedal board of effects here. Let's see, there was a couple of these. Um, yeah, look at all of these. It's incredible. So frozen timeline. And most of these are sustains. But let's see, let's see if we can do a, um, let's see if we can find. And let's see, let's just uh, map this. Okay, so you can map it to, um, velocity or two key switches. And then we can just dial that range in. So this is like 85 to 127, and then we can just kind of bring this down so it goes off at like 86. Grace notes, um, and then we can squeal it. Yeah, let's put the let's put the squeal let's put the squeal up there, and we'll map that to velocity. See, we can map this to any controller. You can even map it to the sustain pedal. Um, I just like using velocity in a way because it lets me kind of connect. Here's your squeal. You can just go as deep as you want with uh, all of these different things. Let's see, uh, Electric Mayhem. Let's just, let's see what this is. Yeah, so we've got sustains and mute. That's wild. That's wild. Okay, let's see. Little amp overload. Yeah, and the and the Lots of lots of fun things, and there is a song that I'm working on releasing that I used some of the rock guitars on uh, in another library. So look for uh, that to come out. So did I already do Electric Mayhem? And the cool thing is, these are guitar players that are putting these instruments together. So they're they're approaching them from the sensibilities of um, you know getting the guitar sound set up. Um, like they would play uh, if they if they had it themselves. It's just really cool. Gasoline fire. 
Okay, ooh, look at this. Okay, so we've got the squeal up there at the really high velocities. Let's just take a look. And the tone, um, I used to uh, I used to travel with a, a group uh, that I was playing with, uh, and you know uh, we would it was a, a southern gospel group, and Billy uh, would bring his um, pedal board in, and it was a gigantic pedal board. He he must have had ten Morley foot pedals, and he, just a genius player. <laughs> Yeah, and you lay into it, then you get this, and listen to that. I love the transition sounds when you're going. The notes are kind of connected. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Let's see. There was a couple. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So this is called Double Tracked Intro. And oh, cool. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, David. Okay. I don't see any feedback. Yeah, I'm doing it with the pitch. And let's see, we've got, uh, let's see if we can just map a couple of these, like the slide ends, and let's map it to velocity. And let's map it to the top. That way we can just kind of um, dig into it. And I don't know why 85, 86 is a good. Uh... It's kind of like a neat slide. And then uh, we can do the hammer ends and do the same thing. Let's just bring it up to that 86 and unmap the... And the thing is, you can just explore and experiment with um, <clears throat> how to map these um, articulations. So let's see. <clears throat> we'll just take a look at a couple more of these. <clears throat> so this is... Um, No, you, you know what? That name does sound familiar, Nigel. Um, wow. Yeah, you know, I have I have heard of them. I'm going to need to reach out to them again because I think they've got some really cool um, really cool products. I think that that the, um, a way to get the way to get your MIDI devices, especially like okay, so with the Casio, there are, there are not a lot of um, external input jacks. So something like the audio front products are great for that to expand to expand pedals and things because you know expression pedals or extra foot switches are really come in handy. So I'll I'll take a look. I'll I'll check a look. I'll take a look at that. Um, so this is green mirror. Let's see. So we got palm mutes and Now listen to that. I'm just going to hold on to that. And you hear how it kind of breaks down a little bit. 
Yeah, and you just let it go. I'm really liking this the tone of this. It just it's got a different it's got a different uh, tone to it. Uh, hair of the dog. Everything Orange Tree does, uh, they do it with just such a uh, beautiful quality about it. I love that. Yeah, Jeremiah, always, always, you know, always, you know, that's the thing, uh, you know, with the way that life is, it's just like everything that you're going to see on the channel, it's it's like, it's just going to be right out of the box. Uh, a lot of times I'm hearing it at the same time you're hearing it. And so it, that's what makes it, uh, <laughs> that's what makes it kind of, uh, uh, adventurous and fun and exciting and a, and a little um, little terrifying at the same time. But that's where we find inspiration. We find inspiration in the moments of the unknown. And the thing is, a lot with these contact developers, they build in and are able to construct their effects. And I think. Uh, that is what we're hearing as part of the sound is these wonderful effects uh, chains that they've uh, given us. So let's see. Let's just check out a couple more of these. And... Uh... <laughs> got these trigger notes down here upstroke and downstroke and let me just go back um, in the setup tab yeah so it's got um, oh, wow so we've got settings for the um, guitar pickup and okay yeah so we it's like a mixer Okay, so the pickup, let me let me just go to the default. Let's see if we got an init. Do we have an init? Um, let me just open this back up and let's just drop back the init. So this is like the init patch here. And let's go back to that setup here. And then we've got uh, the guitar pickup. And then standard or an enhanced signal, we can go single, double tracking, and it can pan, or we can assign that to separate outputs. And that's cool. Multi-track harmonization. Humanization, I mean. So that means they're playing not necessarily in sync together. So it's just like actually you're hearing two different players playing. Yeah, and let me just go into, um, let's see, one of these. Um, wow, look at this. We've got more. Um, wow, we've got more of these. <laughs> y 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. So the guys put the did the hard work for us. Um, they did the hard work for us. Yeah. Let's see. Let's go. And we've got strums, and you've got like a bank of strums that you can create yourself. And then plus we have um, we have just some uh, strumming presets here, like folksy, and we can trigger that. So it just gives it a little more realism, and we we can we can put um, different patterns on these. We can just load different presets here. Um, so and we can assign these to key switches. So you can see the green key switches lighting up here. Yeah. So two by the river and three. So we can assign up to six different uh, strumming patterns to key switches, and you can you can develop your own. Uh, you can just draw your own patterns in. So they give you just a lot of power. And their engine, uh, they just updated the entire engine. So across the board, so all of their guitars and instruments uh, have kind of like the same uh, playback engine, and I think that's really cool. Okay, so let's just uh, pull up one more. And then, you know, you've got, um, you know, settings for chords and all kinds of stuff uh, and pick modeling. So they, they're actually doing some, um, you know, physical modeling of like the like the picking sounds and, you know, they've just gone into such detail with what they've got here. Let's see. Frozen timeline. Let's pull up. Um, Pull up the harmonics here. And. All of these, um, all of these presets they give us. It's a very bright sounding guitar, so um, you can do all kinds of things with it. <laughs> all right, so make sure that you check out. Um, Check out Orange Tree, and every once in a while, I think it's in the summer, they do a group buy, so you can get uh, get a lot of their libraries uh, that way. And these are all Contact player instruments, so um, you don't need the full version of Contact. It uh, will play in the free Contact player. And I just encourage you to visit uh, their website and check it out. And thanks, um, thanks guys from Orange Tree for sending this over to me. Uh, just really, really appreciate it. Okay, so let's just take a quick visit to Crow Hill. Uh, they just dropped another um, another instrument into their vaults, and um, this time they give us uh, some studio drums. and And this is a this is a free um, a free instrument set uh, from them. And you know, right now we've got piano strings. Celeste, guitar, synth, and now drums. So they keep adding. Um, one of the things, I guess, that a lot of people are, I, and I hope that they work on this uh, down the road, is a way to um, just download what you need. Because right now, you you have to download everything, the update. Uh, to In order to get the new instrument, you've got to take it and the old as well. Um, so, um, so let's just load up studio drums. And just kind of play with that. Let's see. Let's see, where is it? Where are you? There you are. Let's bring you up here so we can kind of see what's going on here. Like general MIDI pretty much set up.
You got some flams, cross stick. Little flam. Now, if you come up here, you've got a little two-handed play that you can do. Symbols and, you know, just kind of a nice tight kit. We can adjust the room size. And then the stereo width down here. One thing I like about the Casio keyboard, as opposed to the SL88, especially when playing finger drums like this, because the keys bounce back so quickly, it just kind of comes back. so you can kind of get more response out of it. And then, uh, yeah, I kind of like that wide sound. And then we can have like a distortion. We can really slam it, I guess, the compression. shifter, a little slap back, and of course a little splosh. So that's a little bit of studio drums, yeah. Another free instrument uh, if you're looking for some fun things to play around with. And uh, just, uh, just check out the links in the description. And it's free, and so check that out when you can. Okay, so let's... Uh, <laughs> I, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. So let's check out the latest from... Um, Hunter and the team at um, Spitfire. At, you know, Spitfire's been doing, um, you know, a lot of collaborations with a lot of the piano, piano, book, um, piano book members. And this is the case with the original Hearth and Hollow. Um, you know, Hunter has been doing some brilliant things and, and I'm so glad to see um, how they're just continuing to come up with some really cool ideas. So make sure you check out the walkthrough because I, I watched it again last night <laughs> just, to, just to get like a refresh. And let me see, I'm going to um, pull this up and in inimitable style. Now this is a Contact 7. Uh, this is a Contact 7 instrument and you see it's black because you have to use a different, um, you gotta use a different way in OBS to capture these. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to load up the ensemble first. Yeah. And let's go into single view. Yeah. And it's like, they've got to breathe now. Just uh, bring, bring them up a little bit. And this is not your typical choir. I want to get my gain staging going right. It's beautiful. And here we go. Let's see. I want to just uh, set this real quick. And you see 
all of the four vocalists, Willow, Juniper, Willow, Juniper, Hawthorne, and Forrest, they're all in this beautiful church. And I've run out of notes, so that's the thing. You gotta, you gotta be mindful of where you are. CC, oh, there we go. Okay, I've got CC11 on my first slider and CC, CC, CC7, CC11, or, or CC, I don't know. I don't know what I, what it is. Let's see. Yeah, CC11 on my first slider, CC7, no, CC1 on my second, and then I've got uh, CC21 on this third slider, so <laughs> we'll get it here. And that intensity is like a dynamic control. Let's push it up. Love the way it kind of blends through. Intensity just kind of opens it, uh, opens it up, and um, so yeah. So I've been using Cakewalk, um, <laughs> I guess since 1994, 95. <laughs> you know, so I'm I'm a I've been in uh, I've been in it for the long term, the long haul. Um, Cakewalk to me has just been one of those. Uh, it just feels like home, you know. I've just learned to use it so much, and they've really been true to follow the standard. You know, I'm not talking about Gibson. I'm not talking about Roland. I'm not talking about the bigger companies that have owned Cakewalk. I'm talking about the guys that are that are behind what I call the people behind the code. Um, I've I've uh, just through through all of the relationships that I have with Cakewalk over the years, uh, through beta testing and and working. The, the guys that have worked on Cakewalk over the years ha are just so solid. Um, they are so solid. I, I think I started with Cakewalk DOS a little bit, uh, where you just had black and magenta and white on the screen. And then when they uh, came out with audio and Cakewalk uh, 6.1, I think, Cakewalk Pro Audio. Um, I mean, listen, I started on a Commodore 64. <laughs> And then, uh, you know, one of my really fond memories is with the Amiga 2000 with bars and pipes. That was just so amazing how they, and they were, they were so innovative in bringing MIDI effects and plugins. They were doing plugins before we even heard of VST. I mean, uh, so, so Cakewalk for me was just a natural progression because it was on the PC, uh, you know, didn't have an Atari, didn't have a Mac. And you know the the Amiga and the Commodore and stuff were just gone. So um, yeah, so yeah, Cakewalk feels like home. And then you can see 
you know, okay, I've got that. Let's see, let's show the desktop here. Yeah, so this is uh, this is actually sonar. This is like a um, this is like the early an early peek into sonar, and I just really like it. And the uh, cosmic the cosmic color scheme, I've really been enjoying using that. But to me, um, and you know, right now you can still get Cakewalk by BandLab for free, and it will work until it doesn't. Uh, you know, when they when they transition over to the paid version of Sonar. And they're still working that out, and so um, you know, then then support for the free version will end, but it won't stop working. So if if you if you're using the free version of Band uh, Cakewalk by Band Lab, it'll keep working. So um, yeah, I mean, uh, it was like with when Cakewalk was uh, under under the possibility that we might lose it altogether. I tried to. Um, I tried going to different DAWs, and it was like it was so hard for me to kind of wrap my head around that that a new way of thinking about things because when you've worked with something for so long, um, and Studio One is a great alternative, um, you know, and Cake uh, Cubase, of course, um, but sometimes having so much, you know, kind of overwhelms, and so. But so I'm glad I've got some other DAWs that I um, that I kind of work on occasionally for support for user support. Uh, Reaper uh, Reaper is another uh, really popular DAW. So um, yeah, so here we go. Let's go back to uh, Hearth and Hollow. So here we go. Yeah. So to answer your question, I like Cakewalk. <laughs> I like Cakewalk. And and you know, with Logic, Logic used to be on the PC until Apple bought them and, and no more Windows versions. So yeah, Logic used to be on Windows too. Um, so that's amazing. Okay. And that intensity, the dynamics are what make it so alive. Now let's just take, um, let me just turn off these other, and let's just look at Willow. Now this is another one of those cool things is that we can take the vocalist and, and move them around the room. And then we can use this bleed to dial in more of the room. Some of the room bleed, and this is cool too. If we um, let's see if I can just zoom in on this. So if we look and see, there's a little circle on the uh, on the top of the vocalist. We click that, and then it creates a ghost vocal. And as we drag it out, you see that it's uh, creating. It's almost like a stereo width, so it creates a double, and then we can adjust the width. So let me bring this back to the center. And it is positioned in parallel. We can put them all the way in the back of the church. And then we've got a plate reverb that we can that we can uh, dial in here. Let's go back to the ooze.
let's just listen to these uh, these individually. And I'm just going to uh, just take them out a little bit. This is Juniper. You've got a mix of male and female vocal together. And I like dialing that plate in. Listen to that. And then Hawthorne. Hawthorne's a little grittier sound. Yeah. And then forest. <laughs> Sing forest. And then what we can do is assign these. Let's see. Uh, dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun. Let me see if I can find. Okay, let me turn them on. And then, okay, yeah, so we can go into each one. I'm going to put Willow in the center keyboard and Juniper up here. Hawthorne, let's bring them down here and Forest down low. So now we have some control over splitting the. Uh, Splitting the sections and we can adjust these guys and let's kind of move them around. That's what I love about being able to position, um, position these on the live stage. You know, you've got this live stage going on. And then we've got all kinds of presets that we can go to. I'm going to load just um, just this default back in, and we'll take a look at uh, some of these presets here. And these are basically just kind of different mix positions, uh, wide, wide highs. And I, I, I want to see if I can do this. <laughs> you know me. Um, you know me. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna, let me zoom back out here. Um, yeah, you know what I love to do is experiment. There's my, there's my list. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've just got to show you this here. So let me, let me let you take a look. These are all of my drives. <laughs> <laughs> and yesterday, yesterday I was I, I get on a like a rabbit trail, but this this is good. Um, let me see. Okay, that's not on this one. Um, and okay, David, yeah, we'll have to do that. So I'm going to see. I was trying to go through and consolidate my projects and different things, and so I've got, these are all the people that I've worked with over the years, and I've got. You would have to say I've got 30 or 40 years worth of work here. Uh, and um, and then here is Simeon's folder here. And look at this. I've got 221 different folders here and different mixes and things. And um, and it's just like, I, I, just, I just said, all of this stuff is sitting here. And I couldn't believe how much I've I've got sitting here. And it's like, you know... Um, let's see. Yeah, you know, I got all of that stuff sitting there. And like I'm saying, uh, I'm saying, Father, please help me to let this be the year that more of this stuff is going to just get out there, that it'll just get out there. And and so if you're a channel member, you'll notice that I posted um, I posted a, a link to where you could download a free version of what we did with the Horde uh, Finger Style Acoustic. 
and I, I went ahead, I'm gonna, I went ahead and released that. That's gonna be released on all the streaming services. I made little edits and stuff to it, but it's just a great uh, way to just have something to listen to. And it's like, so you are gonna start seeing more coming uh, musically from me, not just live streams, not just uh, instrument reviews, but more music, more actual music coming out of here because there's so much sitting on that drive that uh, that I that I really believe that uh, it, like I, I use this analogy all the time. It's like the parable of the talents that the guy that had this talent, he buried it in the ground. And it's like, you know, the masters wasn't pleased with that. And so I want my heavenly father to be pleased with what he's entrusted me with. And so if you're a channel member, uh, whatever I release, you know, you guys will get a free copy of that and it, it will go into like one of those member community posts and you'll be able to download that and have that for free as a thank you for supporting the channel. And um, and if you're not a, a channel member, it's a good time to join because that really helps me to uh, keep things going here. You know, it's, uh, it's me and Debbie and you know, um, I think there was a song, Me and Jesus Got a Good Thing Going. It's just, we're do, I'm doing the best that I can to keep things going and um, your support means so much. And so I'm just trying to find ways to give back to you guys for all of the wonderful support. But 2024, be on the lookout for more music coming. So <laughs> end of commercial, um, end of commercial. Let's see, um, oh, okay, so yeah, spring, spring, you know, I put a video together, but I actually released that way back, I think uh, in 2016. And so uh, with that track, I used a Piano Tech and uh, Stylus RMX, uh, Omnisphere. Omnisphere is just, uh, to me, it's just one of the greatest uh, virtual synthesizers ever. Um, and then the fretless bass, it's Trillion. Trillion will, will nine times out of 10 find its way in just about every track that I do, uh, especially like the studio bass, but the fretless bass on in Trillion is just so amazing. So uh, Piano Tech, and a lot, of the, a lot of the things that you're gonna be hearing is because of Piano Tech, because uh, when I'm in times uh, just playing around, <laughs> And you know, yeah, we'll, we'll get back to Heart and Hollow, but I guess I just want to get this out. <laughs> um, so a lot of times, Piano Tech. One of the great things that I've always enjoyed about Piano Tech is that it's always listening. And I've got a program now that's running on Windows, and it's always listening. But um, but I find myself getting into moments of inspiration and in my prayer time and private times of worship. Uh, it captures those moments, and then then I'm able to kind of use those moments as the inspiration to build out more things. Um, so um, so yeah, so that that's that's where this is all going. So um, be become a channel member that helps us. Uh, but if not, just enjoy following me on the streaming platforms and things, and because you're going to have more to listen to. Um, Okay, where were we? So I want to try this, and this is something um, something that my good friend John Limcool. Um, okay, there we go. Let's bring that back. My friend John Limcool has done, and I, I'm hoping I'm hoping that I have. Um, okay, I'm going to initialize this because there's a trick. Because so many times uh, I find myself. Yeah, good. Contact sevens here. So many times as you just saw what was happening, I was running out of notes and um, and I'm going to just see if we can do this. And um, I'm going to just duplicate this layer a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, let's duplicate it three times. So we're gonna have three, four, four total. And so this is gonna be my normal pitch. Uh, let's see, oh man, okay. So I'm gonna offset the semitones, 12 here, and then I'm going to go, I'm gonna go into this version of contact. Let's see, come on, open up for me. And I'm going to actually tune this down 12 semitones. Let's tune it down 12 semitones. 
And let me see. Okay, let me go into Unify. Let me go to my Unify track. Ah, oh, come on, come on. What are we doing here? Okay, it's triggering that. Okay, and uh, let's see. Yeah, so there we go. And see, we can, it, there's a semitone trick that we can do. And then I'm gonna offset this. Now let's tune it up. Um, Yeah. And now when we play. We can have that extra, that extra octave that we need. <laughs> it's not the. Um... Yeah, now we can, now we can have that. And then, uh, yeah, it's just to, how to calculate those. Um, those offsets, but now, and then I can do the key split. So that just opens up um, some other creative possibilities with that, uh, because I always find myself running out of notes. And, and so that's kind of fun to be able to, to do that. And, and once again, Unify just kind of helps us to do some, um, some fun things. Um, let's see here. Um, <laughs> no, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I, I wish. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, I wish. So let's just go back. I think the thing is with all of these libraries um, that uh, you just have to explore. And um, let's see. Let's see what we've got here. So we've got the these blooms here. Let's see. Let's get out of Unify. And this is what I was talking about earlier, about like how string swells, they're natural swells. So watch what happens. They're just naturally. Or is that the bl bl blossoms? I think it might be the... Uh... Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's go. Um, let's go back into the rack view. And let's just load up Willow the solo so I can kind of get a better idea of what, uh, <laughs> what we're doing here. <laughs> okay. So this is just the solo, and we have, um, on the solo voices, you have legato. So this is what the legato sounds like. So you have the ensemble vocals, and then you have these solo vocals that have the uh, legato and sustains, and then you still have the uh, ability to split them. I 
I like being able to blend between the vowels. Okay. And the blooms, the blooms are tempo synced. And let's listen to what. Uh, Those are natural swells. And as long as you hold one note down, this is what I was talking about with the string swells from Sonic Cinema. As long as you hold one note down, any new note will be included in that swell so you're not re-triggering it every time you hit the, uh, the new note. And these are tempo sync. So this is the 110 bloom. Yeah, you know, Jeremiah, that is because Owen, um, you know, just, just the combination of these talented individuals uh, Owen is just really digging deep into uh, learning how to get these things um, programmed. Um, and he's doing such a great job. These are blossoms. These are kind of like just these irregular performances. And this is just one vocalist. <laughs> okay, let's go. Um, let's go check out. Um, let's check out Hawthorne. It's just so beautiful, and you know, it just inspires you to. Um, it inspires you to think in different ways, and then, of course, you've got to split them. Split them out. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I think part of a lot of that is, you know, you've got the overhead of it being a contact player instrument. Um, and I think that a lot of times they're working on all of these cool proofs of concepts and things. And so, you know, these are like um, they're doing they're doing some different things for us. And, you know, and that's the thing. If that's why I like to just kind of play through as much as I can here, because sometimes things are gonna really resonate, uh, some, some things are not, but some things resonate enough to kind of like what you said, David, like you're, to just kind of stimulate your imagination a little bit, just to get you thinking about different, uh, different things. Um, okay, let's do some more, and then we'll see where else we can go today. <laughs> okay, so we've got a little, uh, little bonus things, a little whistling, let's see. Little legato, yeah. Let's see what the shorts do. <laughs> I couldn't resist, it couldn't resist. And you've got the sustains. Very fun. Okay, and then um, 
we've got some uh, percussion. Let's see what we've got. Different stomps. You get a little tambourine in there. That's fun. <laughs> a little folky version of the of the Jacob Collier choir. That is fun. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's fun. Wow. Okay. Man, you know what? Um, let me see if I can do that. Let me load up the, uh, the ensemble. And uh, <laughs> there's a man working on the chain. Yeah, you could do that. Let's go to single view here. And... Um, let me see, let me load this up here. Let's see, what did I do here? Okay, I've got another version of Contact and I've got like four or five versions of Contact running here. Um, let me see if I can find, uh... oh, wow, okay. Oh, I do, I do have it. So I'm running this one in Contact 6. Um, so this, this is the original, um... Kind of like the same concept. You've got that. You've got that really cool stage. That yeah. So you can just lay this kind of like. Um, oh wow. Uh, let me see. Let me get a tempo here. Let's see what we got. Uh, what we got here. Okay, let me bring the tempo down a little bit. Uh, let's see. It kind of reminds me of, um, okay, let me see, of Wren Collective. Wren Collective is a really cool, um, man, we are, let's see, here we go. Let me see. Let's see, here we go. Let's see if we can just drop something down here. Two, three. Let's see, let's do this. Uh, okay, I wanna copy or I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna see if this um, see if this does the same same types of things. Okay, let's see. Where did you put where'd you put it? Okay, so let's see. Uh, let me just show you the desktop so we can so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh wow, okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see. Hearth and hollow and bring this up. Don't crash on me. I'm gonna save this so just in case. Okay, yeah, so let's put the, um, let's put the stomps on there. Uh, yeah, I like the stomps and claps, because you got to have that for this. Um, okay, let's see, let me run this back. Where are we here? Okay, here we go. And let me run this back here. And let's see what happens here.
just the salt of the earth. Uh, beautiful. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Now let's stop that. And let's see, we've got... Uh, Let's see, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Okay, let's see. Okay, and, oh, come on. Oh, the volume's down, That that's what. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> see what you guys do to me? Okay, okay, here we go, let's do this. Um, two, three. Am I wandering in my shame? You are the moon. Oh, oh, let's see. Did I, did I have, where did I have the, uh, you know what, didn't I, I didn't have the record. Let's see, did I have the record? And then, let's see. There we go. Okay, yeah, it didn't have the volume up. Okay, so there, let's try this again. Let's go back to the beginning. Ah. So, uh, yeah, so I'm doing something. I'm resetting the uh, volume control, and it's uh, that's what's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Uh, so now we've just got the ensemble going. Got the ensemble going here. Now let's do this. Uh oh. Okay. So, oh, you know what? It seems like um, it seems like it's resetting the volumes when I'm uh, when I'm doing the playback. Let's see. I don't want it to do that though. Okay. Oh yeah. You know that's that's what it's doing. Um, so let me see. I'm going to split, I'm going to split this track and make sure. Okay. Yes. Yeah, some, somehow it is, um, it's resetting, um, gee whiz. It's resetting my, uh, automation. It seems like. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. There we go. You are my peace in my troubled sea, my lighthouse. Yeah, <laughs> there you go, there you go. Yeah, so it's resetting the controllers at zero. So um, yeah, so I think that might be a setting uh, that I need to look at in um, in Cakewalk. But that kind of gives you uh, gives you a cool idea. Let me bring it back up again and just run run it again. Um, that's fun. See, that's that's when a, like a synergy um, synergy happens. Oh. I love the intensity. And you can swell into those ahs.
so <laughs> that is that is a lot of fun. Uh, and so when you when you get these ideas and sparks, um, it really um, it really just takes you somewhere. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out what's triggering that. Let's see. I'm gonna pull up. Um, I'm gonna pull up one of these. Okay, and you've got grooves here, uh, which are amazing. And they're tempo synced. And you've got six different grooves that you can um, play around with. And each can be assigned to a different vocalist. That's so cool. So that's uh, that's just a little taste of uh, Hearth and Hollow folk voices. And again, I really think uh, the guys did such a great job. There was so much more to explore, um, but make sure that uh, you check out the videos and you know, just uh, it's just more fun things to get us inspired. So let's see, let's see what else we've got. Um, okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. So, um, man, it's like we're, we're real close to running out of time. Hey, Justin, you can, you better late than never. Um, better late than never, but, uh, you can always catch up on the replay. That's, uh, that's always so cool. Um, okay. So while we're here, um, you know, I do, I do want to tell you, um, I do want to tell you about um, about East West. Now, East West, East West is one of those things that I that I'm thinking today. I'm going to get into it, but it's like I get into something else, and it's just like we run out of time. So it's one of those things where you've got to just spend uh, you know some good time and in getting in here. Um, but they are having a special 36th anniversary sale uh, that. Um, that includes like their, you know, you can you can either do the composer cloud or you can purchase the uh, the instruments. You can do the perpetual license. I think that is a good way to do it. Don't just do subscriptions. And if you're doing subscriptions, at least offer the perpetual license. And I've been kind of playing with the fantasy orchestra. I, I tell you what, why not? Let's just let's just pull it up real quick. Uh, but um, but I'm going to. Um, I'm going to come back to this, but you know, they're having a sale and they're having like a, um, a competition too. They're having like a special, uh, celebration and you can enter to win some different prizes and different things. But, um, what I really think is powerful and I'm learning so much more about is, um, let's see if we can get this to come on, come on, work with me here is, uh, okay, let me get back out of Hearth and Hollow. Okay, come on, you can do this. Okay. Okay, so let's pull up back, oh, let's back up again. Come on. Let's go on. Somehow, oh, let's see. Excuse me. I don't know. I don't know what's. Oh, <laughs> there's always there's always tracks hiding up here. So I'm gonna make sure all of these are muted. 
<laughs> yeah, you get so much going on and you just overlook stuff. So let's just uh, go to Opus and let's fire this up. Come on, you can do this. I know you can do this. <laughs> Let me show it this way. I'm not seeing it in the, uh, but this is like um, Sonia Score has partnered with them to bring the, um, it, it's it's almost like uh, Unify in a way because you've got a rack. I've got like um, just a whole stack of individual instruments here. Um, you know, you've got the fantasy winds, the drums and percussion. I mean, it's so powerful. It's just a very powerful instrument and then we go to this performance and we've got these um we've got these scores here and uh i've got uh, dwarven secrets loaded up yeah dwarven secrets loaded up and this has got the strings and the whistles and We've got winds, we've got Irish whistles. It's great starting points. controls. I'm going to pull the piano in here. percussion because I got into key switches there. And then the mod wheel, I'm gonna turn the piano back down. The mod wheel kind of, just kind of helps uh, with the intensity. And then it voices the, uh, it voices the chords and things for you. Uh, let's, uh, let's just pick up a couple more of these. Um, Let's go to Fortress. You've got all of these different uh, scores, and I dare use the word curated, but that's like what it sounds like. They just put these really cool scores together. So this is a Fortress, and this is in 3-4. And this last, uh, this last, okay, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. The last patch that I loaded was uh, like over a gig because you've got all of these different things going on. The individual fantasy orchestra is just so good. And these are like great for underscores and just kind of getting ideas started. And let's just solo the winds. And we got brass. And how each of the sections complement each other. Solo the, the solo of the percussion. Strings. 
strings. So we've got uh, violas, dulcimers, celli. And it's just getting used to how these are arranged. Um, another cool thing that, uh, that I like that they've done, they've given us ensembles. So we can put the, um, let's just put all of these strings. Let's go to the strings long. And we've got all of these um, laid out for us. And I'll just do the uh, s sustain one. <laughs> So we've got um, four different st strings. It's huge. It's just such a huge, um, huge collection. Let's see, we've got some shorts. We've got some shorts. Um, let's do like plucked, plucked number four. Lutes, okay, okay. So strings include lutes and uh, dulcimers. So we've got some lutes and dulcimers here. To their performances and I'm just getting um, just learning more and more about uh, opus let's go to full orchestra sustains and uh, choir yeah so this this just loads up this you know opus is for me for for lack of a better better term unify uh, just a just a combinator uh, just like a host and a, a way to bring all of these libraries together um, So we've got winds, brass, percussion. It's just so fat. That is so cool. Okay. Um, oh, I've got to do this. I, I just want to do this. I want to see. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Okay. I want to. Go back, I'm gonna go back to vaults for just a second. Let me see if I can get my tempo right. Uh, okay. Okay, let's bring this to like 120. Uh, okay, because I just wanted to have some fun. Let's do it a little bit faster. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Let's see. Uh, well. I don't know how this is going to work. These drums kind of have a nice 
tightness to them. Okay, and um, let's see if I can, um, let's see if I can loop this. And, uh, come on. Yeah, BBC Discover is free. Um, let's see, we're gonna snap to measure. I'm gonna lock this in. And let's stretch this out some so we can uh, just have some fun, see what happens here. Yeah, that would be cool. David, about the about brushes. Um, okay, and I'm going to I'm just going to pull up this. Um, let's see, okay, okay. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Here we go. Now, this is where I'm going to go back to Unify again, because this is where this is going to really um, come in handy. So I'm going to load that prototype. Um, I'm going to load that prototype guitar. And I only, let's see, yeah, I've got it muted here. Come on. Okay, I've got it here. So what I want to do, I just want to have um, the high note here, right there, and the low note, I want to just put it down here. Okay, here we go. And now I'm going to add a new Rhodes. This is a new Rhodes here. And, oh yeah, this is, this is going to be fun. Okay. So this is a new company called Virtuescape. And I'm gonna um, just load up one of their factory. And then let's see what we can do. And I'm gonna split this. So I want my low note to be about, to be right there. So I can play uh, just a nice little split. Um, and then let's see, let's fire up the, uh, let's fire up the sequence again. <laughs> and this is using the, the vaults and we're not going to do that prototype thing. Yeah. I'm gonna get in the right key. Yeah, I think that's where we'll that's where we'll land today. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. <laughs> Let's try this. Uh. Well, I woke up this morning, my face to the rising sun. Three little birds <laughs> pitched by my doorstep, singing sweet songs, melodies pure and true, saying, this is my message to you ooh, ooh. So don't you worry About a thing Let's speed it up a little bit, let's see mm -hmm. There we go mm -hmm. Cause every little thing Is gonna be alright Don't you worry about a thing 
Cause every little thing is gonna be alright about a thing cuz it's going to be all right just having some fun so i want to thank everybody for joining me today for another uh wild and woolly live stream and it's great to see everybody and i can't wait to see you again <laughs> On the next one, let's see. I got something going on here. Yeah, there we go. So make sure you check out all the links in the description. And I want to thank all the developers um, for sending these beautiful libraries and instruments over. And again, if you've got any questions about any of the libraries that you see on the channel and even the ones that you would like to see, just always leave them in the comments below. That's a pretty nice rose and we'll come back to that and take some more, another deeper look into it on the next time. So this is Simeon uh, telling you as always to stay joyful and I can't wait to see you next time, next week on Piano Day, uh, Piano Day 20. 24 and we're going to get the music going and and play you out of here thanks again for all the support all the love and i pray that um, this spring will bring you great um, great blessings blessings and joy ahead for all of you today and um, just pray blessings and stay joyful and we'll see you next time and we are out of here until next time can't wait to see you. <laughs>